Whether you're using a microscope to see the unseen world, or using beakers to mix chemicals to get a chemical reaction, or reaching out to the stars through a telescope, it's time for discovery and learning. It's time for hands-on science. One of the most familiar pieces of lab equipment is the microscope. This piece of equipment allows us to view the world of bacteria, algae, and other microscopic organisms. In order to know how to use the microscope properly, you need to be familiar with its parts. The arm and base of the microscope are used whenever you need to transport it. When moving it, you would grasp the arm with one hand and support the base with your other hand. The part of the microscope you look into is called the eyepiece or ocular. The eyepiece is a lens that helps magnify what you see. It has a magnification power of 10x, which means it magnifies the image you are looking at 10 times. The eyepiece is contained in a movable tube called the body tube. This tube can be moved or adjusted to allow more than one person to look through the eyepiece. The other sets of lenses found on the microscope are called objective lenses. They are a series of lenses with different magnification powers. They consist of a scanning objective with a magnification power of 4x, a low power objective with a magnification power of 10x, a high power objective with a magnification power of 40x, and an oil immersion objective with a magnification power of 100x. These objectives are held in a revolving nose piece. This allows you to swap from one objective to another. The slide you are looking at on the microscope is held on what is called the stage. It is held in place on the stage with a pair of stage clips. These stage clips hold the slide steady while you look through it. Whenever you're ready to use the microscope, you first plug it up. The light you're going to use to look at the slide comes from the light source, which is turned on by the light switch, which can be found either at the front or back of the microscope base. The light from this passes through the slide in the stage and the image that it carries is magnified as it moves through the objectives and ocular. The intensity or strength of the light can be adjusted by the diaphragm, which is found directly below the stage. By adjusting the diaphragm, you can control how much light actually goes through the slide. There are two knobs found on the microscope that you can use to focus the image you are looking at. They are the coarse adjustment knob and the fine adjustment knob. The coarse adjustment knob is only used when you are using the scanning objective on the revolving nose piece. It moves the stage up and down to help focus the image you are looking at. Whenever you move to a higher power objective, you would use the fine adjustment knob. It only moves the stage slightly up and down, but allows you to focus when under the higher magnification. Now you know what parts you're dealing with when you get your hands on a microscope.